Guys, I'm really excited about this one, okay? Check it out. You can play the same drum fill, but if you displace it, right? It sounds totally different. You can play the same exact thing, but if you just shift it across the grid, you have something totally new. I've been following Matt Garska a lot recently, and he talks a lot about permutations or displacement. And he uses it a lot in his playing. So recently I've been exploring with displacement, and I recently made a discovery that you totally can displace sticking patterns and fills. So today specifically we're going to be displacing a grouping of six notes. So it's going to be counted one and a one and a two and a two and a three and a three and a four and a four and a BAM! Just like that. So the only way I could think of explaining this to you guys the easiest way possible is by using Scrabble. Alright, so here is our grouping of six notes. But first, I need to explain something. If you play this drum fill live, you will get 17 Scrabble points. And that's not including if it's on a double or triple word score. So the drum fill we're using is flam right, left, left, kick, kick. The flam is going to be off the rack tom and the snare. It's going to be a left flam. And then your right hand is going to stay on the rack tom. The two left hand diddles are going to be on the snare. And the kick drums, believe it or not, are going to be on the kick drum thing. All right, so check this out. I'm about to blow your minds, okay? We have a grouping of six, right? I'm going to displace it over. Boom! See what happened? I want you guys to pay attention to the flam, because the flam is what's going to be being displaced across the grid. So check this out. You keep This is the new sticking pattern, so this is the one. Right? Displace it again. This is now the one. See the flam keeps shifting over. Displace it again. Left hand ghost note is the one. Displace it again. You now have a diddle coming off the one. Boom, displace it again, starts with the right hand. These all sound different. They all sound different, and it's really weird. But I think it's so cool that you can play the same exact thing. You're playing the same thing. You're just technically starting it at a different point. So I think working with permutations and displacements like this for fills is freaking legit. So let's take it to the kit. So hopefully now that you guys understand how to displace in Scrabble form, I'm going to demonstrate on the drum set. Uh, I'm going to play each example twice and then move on to the next displaced example. So each time we're displacing it one six tuplet. So, and I want you guys to pay attention to the flam. Because the flam is what is being displaced across the grid. Kind of use it as like a marking point. Like first it's going to be on the downbeat and then it's going to be displaced over one six tuplet. And then we're, it's pretty much going to be shifting across the whole thing as we go along. By the time you get to the sixth sixtuplet displacement, the flam is going to be the last hit. So just kind of follow along the flam when you're doing these exercises.
Now, during some of these examples, as you're displacing them, you might find some of them are awkward to get out of. So what you kind of have to do is develop an escape plan is kind of what I call it. Um, because some of the sticking patterns, like it, for example, the first pattern ends with kick, kick. And then you got to hit the one. So it's awkward to go kick, kick, kick. You know what I mean? No one, no one really does that, I don't think. So instead I do kick right one. So you kind of have to find out ways to make it work for, for some of the more awkward displaced patterns. You know what I mean? So for some of the patterns, you might have to figure out an exact way to get out of the fill comfortably. This is really something that you have to write out. You know, you really have to sit down and practice this stuff. And it's going to be tedious at first, but as long as you guys have the idea in your head, when you do get the time to sit down and write out your own displaced patterns, it will pay off, I promise you. So when you're practicing this at home, just practice smart, be diligent, and just stay focused. Because I struggle with staying focused when practicing. A lot of times I do just want to jam out and play, you know. And it is rare that I am fully focused during a practice session. Um, it's really, really hard and it's something that I'm still working on myself. So when you are practicing, stay focused. Don't get sidetracked. Don't just jam out, you know. Just be very diligent. Be like, I'm here to practice this and work on it for a select period of time. You don't want to spend the 30 minutes you have to practice just like noodling around the drum set the whole time because you're not getting better if you're practicing what you already know. You know, if you're working real diligently, you're practicing something really slow that's super duper hard, then you're progressing the most. You know, I tell all my drum students who I give lessons, whenever they're struggling really hard, I stop them and I'm like, stop. Like, look at yourself right now. Look how hard you're practicing. Like, look how hard you're focusing, you know? And at that moment is the moment that you are increasing the most. You know, when you're sitting at the drum set noodling around, you're not really getting better. You might be, but you're not using your practice time to the fullest, you know? So that's one thing I really encourage is practicing, focused, and awesome. So if you guys enjoyed this lesson, please feel free to comment and let me know. Like, I want to know that you guys got something out of this. I really do. Because I don't want to just put out a lesson and you guys just like not understand it or anything. I always want to make sure that you guys understand everything that I'm trying to say. If you guys have any questions, put it in the comments below. I will answer. Message me on Facebook. Do whatever. I will respond. I promise. So, yeah. Feel free to make it your own and explore and have fun and practice focusedly. That's not a word. Before I leave, I want to announce my latest endorsement. Scrabble. Uh, Mike over there is a real nice guy. Uh, if you have any questions, just hit him up and he'll get you set up with a new Scrabble board. Bye, guys. I'm so weird. <laughs>